Hey guys, so I kind of want to make it up to you. Um, so I'm going to do my February haul um, in this video. Um, sorry, it's not really a haul haul, like a giant thing, but um, I think it's pretty decent. I got some good stuff and I just received this package today. So let's get right to it. I've already cut it open. And of course, it's from Ami Ami. That's where I get a majority of my things, if you guys were curious. And looks like I received the new Ami Ami card because I got this pretty late. And it is adorable. Look at that. I'm going to focus. Very cute. Very colorful. Kind of wrinkly, but there it is. I definitely like keeping at least one copy that isn't marked by my uh, X-Acto knife, so this will be nice. And I think that's going to be for quite a while, or I mean, the, they're going to use that card for a while. So let's get right to it. I forgot I bought A-Zone things. <laughs> so um, the first thing I see here, whoops, I'm just going to pick all the A-Zone stuff out. And get that over with. I got a stand. Since now I have a couple of A zones, I have five A zones right now. So I got two stands and um, I have a small kotatsu table. So if I ever do display them, it would be um, two of my bo two of my boys would be on these stands and three of them would be at the kotatsu. And of course, I saw these and I couldn't resist getting them. They are jackets. Very cute. Uh, they're sized for small and medium pure Nemos, but they still, but they're still able, um, extra small pure Nemos are still able to wear them. So, which is why I got them. And I'm glad because they look really cool um, in the display pictures. So yeah, <laughs> I didn't realize, I forgot I got A-Zone stuff. <laughs> it wasn't until I saw the invoice on top of the box. Um, next, I'm going to take this one out. You can kind of see what I got right there. And um, I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I got the first um, version, or the the season one version of these guys. Uh, they're called Nigi Nigi. Um, that's so funny. But they're, um, they're Omanju. So like, what are they? What's that in Japanese? Uh, dumplings or something like that? Sorry, my Japanese is sake. But, um, so they're just basically little squishies bean things that you can squish they're pretty heavy this one's actually not as heavy as the other one because the other one had um two versions of each character so they had two versions of Nitori, Rin, Rei, Nagisa, Makoto, and Haru and now they only have one of each so as always the box is very cute as you can tell, it's the second one. And um, these also came with a special bonus if you bought it from certain stores. Unfortunately, I don't like Rin. Rin? I don't like him. I'm sorry, guys. I really don't. So, um... <laughs> oh, what does he say? Suya Suya. Kiri. Un... Oh, that's so cute. Mm, and oh my god. Sorry. I'm like. <laughs> Nikori? Wait, these. Oh, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Uh, obviously, I haven't done this in a while. Ihihi. <laughs> oh, that's actually really cute. Sosuke doesn't have anything. <laughs> oh, but Momo doesn't have anything either. I guess it's because um 
these guys had already had their first, you know, release. And his says, hi. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I think Nagisa's is the cutest. That, mm. Oh my god. So there's eight in total. And <laughs> before I got distracted, um, Ami Ami has a special when you order from them usually with certain free merchandise. So I got a Rinto Alien. Alien. Yes. <laughs> um, I think it's based after the future fish thing. So it's written in alien. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Oh, sorry for my like fan point. <laughs> I just didn't expect that. Oh jeez. And last, uh, is this? Oh my god. Okay. So um, when they showed the prototype, I I obviously had to get it. Um, there is a Makoto version that came out a few days ago. Um, the twentieth. Um, and yes, I did pre-order that, so I'm waiting on another figure to be, um, released, so, yeah, won't be getting that for a while, but hey, that's the figure life, right? Um, this is a prize figure by Taito, let me show you that, based after, um, an official art of Haru, Makoto, Nagisa, Re and Rin in sailor outfits. So, yep. There's the box. Huge one. This is one of my favorite, like, oh, see, right there. And you can actually link their arms. I saw some um, photographs that some people took in, um, some Japanese stores that were selling these guys and one of the stores linked uh, the Makoto and Haru figure together like that so it's actually pretty cute and there's the top and yeah so I'll probably open this up but maybe I'll wait until I get Makoto so very exciting I really like the box design it's really cute so all in all, I think this is a pretty good... Oh wait, no, I said February, right? I was gonna like end this video, but um... Alright, I gotta prepare for this, you guys. I gotta prepare. And here you guys are. This is actually the first thing I got that I ordered in February, but I'm showing it to you guys last. And it's kind of self-explanatory. It is Max Factory's 1-7 scale Aoba Seragaki from... Dramatical Murder, also known as DMMD. Um, it is also sculpted by Nanako. I love her stuff so much. <laughs> if you guys don't remember, or if you guys do remember, um, a in my October, September to October haul, um, I received a giant figure. And I will actually bring it up here just to show you guys um, the comparison. Because this figure is actually, like, the box, it's pretty big, but not as big as that other one. But, um, it is by the same sculptor who sculpted Ben 10, um, if you remember that figure. So, obviously, you expect very good things. This is the second release. Um, I was hoping to get the first release, but it doesn't seem like a lot of people are, get, are selling it. But they're also not selling it at a good, like, quality condition, so... When they were re-releasing -re it, I jumped. Well, not really jumped. I waited <laughs> because I wasn't sure. So there is Aoba. Um, one of the main differences that I could tell from owner pictures was that the umbrellas that you see here in the first release, they aren't as translucent as the second release. You can't really tell from the pictures because they kind of just reused them all. And there's the top. I don't think there's anything on the bottom. Oh, top of my thing is nicked. Yeah. Um, you can't really tell here, but um, in the first release, the umbrellas that 
that you can see right there and up here, they actually are kind of um, like a opaque sort of, but you can still see through it. In this version, in this release, they're actually translucent, like um, like the chains down here. They don't get that frosty uh, effect. Kind of bums me out, but at the same time, eh, it's what you get, right? Um, the first release also came with a Ren uh, keychain, but that's an extra. And I will bring over the, my Ben 10 box. And for those of you who don't know, I don't really unbox my figures. One of the main reasons is because I don't have room. And second, uh, I just enjoy them like this. So here's Ben 10, my beautiful Ben 10 if you haven't seen them yet. And you compare that to this. So let me just... You thought your owl bo box was big? No freaking way. Ben 10 is the queen or king of big freaking boxes. So yep. And one last shot of my regular, oops, stuff. So, sorry, I guess Ben 10 deserves the, deserves the intention again. So yeah, this was my haul that you can't see, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed um, trying to get back into videos again and um, tell me what you guys got this month or what I, what did I miss? But um. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you guys all had a great day. I will talk to you guys soon. Later.